one of the biggest challenges that we have in agile delivery, or in fact in any delivery, is our ability to have delivery predictability. What we really want to have is an understanding and an ability to be able to predict to a high degree or relatively high degree of accuracy what we are able to deliver. Now, how can we do that when we're using a PI planning event? If you've ever asked that question, this is the video for you. Hey friends, I'm Ahmed, a Scaled Agile and Productivity Coach based in the UK. In this PI planning video tip series, we cover all of the tips that I wish I had when I was starting out and hopefully to help you have a better PI planning event. So one of the big things for us to be able to have delivery predictability is for us to know what we are capable of doing. Look, the analogy I like to give is, is that if I go to the gym every day, which as you can see from my physique <laughs> is a dream, right? But if I were to go to the gym every day and I could bench press, say, I don't know, let's just say, I'll make myself happy, 100 kg, <laughs> right? Uh, let's just say I could, I could lift 100 kg, right? Now, somebody comes in the next day and says, you know what, can you lift 150 kg for me? Now, I've never lifted more than 100 kg uh, as an example, right, in my life. I'm this weak, puny guy, right, and I've never, ever done it. So I would be wise to be able to say to them, listen, on my best day, the best I've ever been able to, to lift is 100 kg, right? I can't do it. And it's the same thing when it comes to delivery team. We need to understand what our capability and capacity actually is, and we need to make sure that we commit based upon what our established capacity is. Now here's the thing where Agile comes in really handy and differs from the waterfall methodology. Because what we want to do in Agile projects and programs is we want to take our proven capacity, our proven capability or velocity sometimes referred to, and use that as a yardstick of what we are likely or able to do in the future. Now, whether you, you may not like it, you may say, you know what, you should be able to lift 120 kg at least, right? And that may be true. But at the moment, my capacity is only X, right? And so I can gradually work on improving my capacity, but just dumping 50 kg on top of me is probably going to end up killing me, right? So in a similar way, we need to be clear on what our teams are capable of doing. We need to make sure that we load them up with the right amount and not too much work as well. Stuff that they have actually proven, the amount of work that they've been, they have proven that they are able to do in the past. So how do we do this? So in PI planning, a very simple trick that I use is to use not story points, but feature points. So at the feature level, how many feature points have you delivered in your previous program increment? You bring those feature points in to your next PI planning and you make sure that you have at least those number of uh, requirements ready so that when it comes to planning, you can plan the right amount as well. Now, important to know, if say for example, I'm bringing in 50 feature points from the last PI because we've proven that we're able to do that PI after PI, it's not unreasonable for me to bring in a little bit extra, maybe 55 or 60 feature points, just in case our productivity has increased, just in case our uh, our teams feel more confident in being able to pick up a greater amount of work as well. Now, this yardstick of 50 feature points, as an example, is just that. It's just a yardstick. It is not a dictator of what capacity you should take in. Rather, I would think of it as a guide. It's maybe your canary in the mine. If you're too far lo lower, or too far higher, you've got some questions that you might want to evaluate and ask, right, as to what is the reason for that variance. 
So there you have it, bringing in your feature points from your pre previous PI planning, bring them in, bringing them in as, as feature points can really help you to actually have a quick and easy guide for you to know whether you are currently on track or not. Hope that helped and look forward to seeing you in the next PI planning video to love learning, keep growing and don't forget to bring the joy. See you soon.